Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with Online Growth Tools and what I want to show you today is a tool called Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Now Elementor you might be familiar with already, it's a page builder for WordPress. It's one of the most popular, if not the most popular page builder that there is. And what Essential Add-ons is, is it's a plugin that gives you about 60 more widgets you can use to design your web pages. And it's currently available on AppSumo for $39 for a, for a single code, which allows you to use essential add-ons for five websites, or you can buy two codes for $78, and that allows you to use it on an unlimited number of websites. And this is a lifetime license, so you don't have to pay a yearly fee, because their regular prices are do include a yearly fee, but with the AppSumo deal, you pay the one time, and then you get lifetime access. Now, I want to be honest here, this is not actually something I plan on buying myself. I am an Elementor user. I've been an Elementor user since pretty much the beginning, and I bought a pro license, again, right when it became available, I bought it, you know, and I renew my license every year. For me, Elementor, I love Elementor. I can't imagine using any other tool to build a web page with, but I'm not a web designer. I design websites for myself, occasionally for my wife, every once in a while for a friend, and so, you know, with my with my with the Elementor Free, which already gives you a decent number of widgets, plus Pro, I've already got about sixty widgets. And you know, another sixty widgets for me is just overkill. It's not really something that I need. It's not something that I foresee using for myself. It seems to me like with this AppSumo deal, they're really targeting people who either don't have Elementor Pro or who are web designers and really want and need these additional widgets so they can design. Uh, websites for their clients. So I am going to show you show this tool to you, but again, I just want to be clear, I want to be honest that this is not something I plan on using myself. It doesn't mean it's not a good tool. It is a good tool based on what I've seen, but you know, I do like to be honest about what my plans are with a particular tool. So let me switch over so I can share my screen. Just give me one second here and you should now be seeing my screen. So this is the, the website for Essential Add-ons. Uh, you know, it's essential-addons.com. And you can come here, this is the demo page on their website, and you can actually demo every single one of these widgets. You can see what they do and you can take a look and see, hey, are there things here that I want, that I like, that would be useful for me? Um, so, you know, you can just click on any of these. I don't know, you know, logo carousel. Uh, you can click on that, and so it's a carousel of logos, right? <laughs> Makes sense. Um, you know, and I, I'm obviously not going to show you all of these because that would take a long time, and you don't want to watch me uh, demonstrate all of these. But this is one I actually do like. It's called Off Canvas, so you know, you click on these buttons, and it brings something in from the side, or it pushes the content away. That's a nice one. Um, but again, for me, it's not not something I find essential, but you know, again, depending on what you what tools you already have available, depending on you know if you're a web designer or not, these might actually be very valuable to you. Um, just show you one more. This is post block, um, and again, you can have some really nice uh, post design for your for your blog post page. So, um, again, you can take a look here on their website to see all the different elements. They also, in addition to the widgets, give you uh, what they call three extensions, which are particles. Parallel, para, parallax, and advanced tooltips. So you get those as well. Um, now they do have a free version, which is what I've put on my website so I can show you a little bit about it. Um, the free version gives you about 30 of the 60 widgets. It doesn't give you all of them, but it does give you a substantial amount. So, you know, here it is. I've already put it into my website and it's my website at herzog.com. And you know, obviously you can see which ones are pro, which ones you would get with the AppSumo license, and these are the ones you get free regardless. Um, you know, if you just want to try the free version that is available in the WordPress plugin repository. So, um, you know, here it is. You can here you can enable or disable all, or you can, you know, if you're if you're concerned about web page loading time, which I'll show you in a second, you know, you can disable ones individually, the ones that you're not using. So, um, you know, that might help with uh, page loading time, if that's something you're concerned about. Then there are the extensions. Those are all pro, the parallax, the particles, and the advanced tooltip. They've also got a cache here that you can clear. And, and that's it. That's basically what it is, right? I mean, it's, if you're familiar with Elementor, if you're familiar with the plugins, that's, that's what it is. And, you know, I'll just show you again. It's, uh, 
pretty standard in terms of how it works. We'll just look here at my contact page. Sorry, give me a second here for this to load up. And, you know, here I've got, you know, the basic Elementor or, yeah, the basic ones, the pro ones. Keep scrolling down and eventually you get to the essential add-ons. And so, you know, it's like anything. You just you can drag it in here. That is the advanced tabs. And again, you can, you know, you've got different options. You can set padding, set margins, motion effect, etc. I mean, it's, you know, again, if you're... If you're an Elementor user, you're already familiar with this. It works like any other Elementor widget. So, you know, there's, I'm not going to sit here and show you every single one of these because you don't really want or need to see that. Um, so, so that's what it is. And what, one thing they don't have right now are blocks. If you're familiar with the blocks, those are, um, you know, kind of the new way to design web pages. It used to all be about, um, about page templates. You know, here you do get page templates in Elementor, but Elementor does have blocks where, you know, you just pick like, okay, I want to put a call to action on my web page. And so you look through one of those and then pick one of those and then, you know, you can style it from there. Um, and so you design rather than starting with a full page, you just put in the individual blocks that you want. There are no blocks at this point. My understanding is that that's something they're working on. So those should be coming out soon. Now, in terms of performance, in terms of, you know, does, is this going to slow down my web page? You know, I'm going to show you my experience. You should check this out for yourself, though, too. You know, if, again, if you want, start with the basic version, with a free version, and see what effect it has. Um, but, you know, you should verify for yourself. I've got a pretty good cache plugin. I've got WP Rocket, and I've got uh, Fast Comet as my hosting, which is a pretty good hosting provider. And so, you know, depending on your setup, it may or may not have an effect. Um, but here's what it looks like for me. I ran this through GT Metrics. So this is with the plugin deactivated. So, you know, I've got 2.2 load time, 720 KB page size, 28 requests. Those are the page and Y slow scores. And with it activated, boom. The only difference is this went up from 2.2 to 2.4 for the fully load time, but I don't, you know, there's no way to know that that's because of the plugin. Because, you know, if you've ever run things through GT Metrics or Pingdom or any of the other tools, this, this always changes. This is never the same. So even if I had done this twice without the plugin activated, this might have changed. So I can't really say that this was a result of the plugin. Um, but, you know, the requests stayed the same. You know, I'm still getting the same page speed score, Y slow score. So it seems to me like this really didn't have any effect at all on my web page load time. Again, you should check it out yourself. But in my experience, it seems to be a really well-designed plugin. Um, it doesn't really seem to have much of an effect on page time, page load time. And again, I've got, you know, I've only got the basic version, but I had all of the basic widgets, which is about 30 of them, enabled. You know, you can go through and disable the ones that you're not using. Again, if you're concerned about uh, page loading time. Um, so that's it. You know, again, it's available right now on AppSumo. Uh, a single code for $39 gets you, gets you five sites. And if you buy two codes for $78, you get unlimited sites. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions. I appreciate it. You know, if this is something you're interested in, I do always appreciate it if people buy via my uh, affiliate link, which I'll put in the description of the video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos coming not just on AppSumo tools, more videos on Elementor. I've got one here on Elementor, uh, you know, is Pro worth it? So I've already got some Elementor videos. I've got more coming. Uh, I've also got videos coming on, you know, non AppSumo tools, on non kind of lifetime deals. I've mostly been focusing on AppSumo, but I will be doing other things. So that's it. I hope you have a great day and I hope to connect with you soon. Thanks.